video. Sorry if there's been a long time. Um, we have massive trips planned. I want to say we, me and Luke. Luke is currently driving the transit. It is uh, 19 minutes past seven and that is AM. Look, these mountains, they've got snow on them and stuff. It's crazy. It's snow and stuff. It's, they've got snow and stuff. It's madness, honestly. It's absolute madness. You can see the snow and that white stuff up here. That is snow. So, where are we? We are in... Scotland guys, so I am abroad. I'm in a different country. I might have slightly bent the truth to you all um, Yes, and as we're in Scotland, we are going skate fishing um, sk skate and uh, Spur dogs. Oh, I'd love a spur dog. I'd love a skate, but I'd love a spur dog um, We're up here for three days four days. Oh, I don't know three days. Whatever it is We we've been planning this for over a month now the time and the effort we have put into this trip you guys honestly i will never be able to explain it all to you trying to find marks no one wants to help you out of anything so literally everything we know we found ourselves through it's like a secret society yeah it is like literally it is like the masons it's all secret handshakes and stuff no one wants to tell you anything um and then and then you've got other people saying that i can't tell you where i am in case your form break your leg and and are we liable what a load of old tosh um anyway snow and stuff um right so we're in scotland we're going skate fishing there's a couple of couple of marks that are well known to everyone um a place called lock a lion everybody knows it if, if you're looking at it takes you 10 minutes to work out lock a lion is a place to to, to look um so we are going to head there first just because it's comfortable we left my house last night at half past 11. i was woken up yesterday morning at about seven o'clock with a really crappy phone call my granddad had passed away and i really wanted a lay in yesterday bless my granddad um i wanted a lay in yesterday because i knew he was leaving to come to scotland at half past 11 at night so i've been up for now 24 hours or so and I'm still buzzing. I don't feel sleepy. I drove most of the way. Luke's been driving now for probably about an hour and a half, two hours. The snow up there is crazy. Hang on. Oh, it's windy. Look at that. We've seen deer on the side of the road. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we've been driving for eight hours now. We've stopped for a wee a couple of times and that's literally about it. Um, yeah, mate, really good time. We have, mate. We haven't it's spared... Really I mean, don't get me wrong, the transit doesn't go a million miles an hour. We've sat at 70 mile an hour, 75 most of the way. We, we've hardly seen any other cars on the roads, even coming up the A1 and the M6 and I stuff. I think if anyone's going to do this sort of journey, travelling through the night is a must. Yeah, there you go, there's guys, no travelling through the night. Right, so, um, I, um, listen, guys, this video is going to be a long video. There's hopefully going to be a couple but I am going to go into depth on explaining how we're fishing, what we're using, the gear you want, only through what we've learned, from what we've looked up. I say, we have been on this every day for the last month, five weeks-ish. Um, and my missus even got to the point where she thought I was going to marry Luke. Because <laughs> it, uh, it was that, honestly, we were flat out messaging, look at this mark, look at that mark, what about this rig, what about this, this hook? Even down to new line on reels and worrying about if our rods are enough, yeah, I thought we Luke. Um, it, it's just, oh, honestly, the research has been amazing it, uh, uh, and, and draining, but we think we've got it. We think we've got it. So I am going to enjoy these views because I've been looking forward to seeing this sort of stuff all the way. Look, it's just crazy. Absolutely. I feel like we're in the Alps. I think we're going to get even better views pretty much. And I've, so yeah. This is just the beginning. Of Daylight the is just breaking for us, guys. Um, so I will bring you back probably i'm gonna say when we're at the mark but i probably won't i'll probably see some more snow and stuff and go oh, you gotta look at this even though you've probably all seen snow there's a river look it's got waterfalls and everything it's just this is a long long way from home and it's it is honestly breathtakingly beautiful it is properly properly stunning um 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 i'm hoping i didn't need my sat nav for that because that's good but Right, okay, we're going this way. Yeah, Fort William's good. Okay, right, Luke knows where we're going. Um, so, yeah, yeah uh, guys, I will... <laughs> guys, I will bring you back whenever I feel the need to, um, in a bit. Right, I said I'd bring you back when we're fishing. Clearly, we're not fishing. I'm snowing you more snow. But we've pulled over at a viewpoint on lock... Was it Tully or Tully, Luke? Something like that, wasn't it? 
but look at this. This this is incredible. Now I know a lot of you have been to I know a lot of you have been to Scotland, but I know there's also probably a lot of you that haven't. Uh, but look, oh that was slippery. We've got to get up that, yeah. We've got to go up that. Bye. Donkey back. Donkey back. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen toboggan. the amount of deer we've seen as well. We have just seen a massive, massive stag, and Luke thought it was Rudolph. <laughs> Luke had a moment. I got all excited. <laughs> to be fair, we have been up. We have we have been up now like 25 hours, and I'm properly, probably hanging out my ass. But it's all good. And there's going to be none of this when we get there. We're going to have a kit. When we get there, we're getting them rods out and we're getting some fish. Um, and surprisingly, look, someone it lives. All this snow, it ain't actually that cold. No, it ain't that cold. Someone lives. Look, look at that house down there. Someone lives at the bottom of that mountain, all by themselves. You pop I mean, out and get us a pint of milk. Like. What do they do when they need a can of Diet Coke and they ain't got none? Like, where is Mr. Sings? <laughs> <laughs> where? I just don't know where it is. I haven't seen a shop since since we came up the first lock. Since we got out of Glasgow, I haven't actually. I've seen a pub. Maybe they just smell go to the pub. Though. Smell it. Yeah, you can smell the fresh air. It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there's going to be a lot of this. You're going to have to bear with me on this video. I will show you some fish. I will show you some fish, but I just... I, I, this is my journey, and I want to take you guys on my journey with me um, because these trips ain't going to happen every week. This this ain't a, this ain't a trip to Whitby or a, a trip to Chesil. This is, this is something else. This is something else in a bit. So pictures don't quite do, do this landscape justice. It it is amazing. Rivers, little house, snowy mountains. Like we're not talking hills, we're talking mountains. We're talking Everest. It's savage. I wanna know what's around this bend. Oh, I fancy there's going to be a mountain and probably some more snow. Mate, with the amount of deers we've seen as well. Look, look at the one. That is an awesome crack. Hey, mate, look at it. Look, that's a lovely crack, that is. <laughs> what? Oh, I haven't seen a crack like that, mate. Wow. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. These roads are horrible. The sat-nav, even the sat-nav's confused. He says we're driving over the mountains. Roads out, aren't they? How amazing is this? It's just, it's just incredible. Incredible. So we left at half 11 last night, it is now 7.53, no sleep, been up for 25, 26 hours, a pair of us are buzzing off our tits, and the only white stuff involved is the snow. <laughs> well, we're back again, uh, we pulled over again to look at, we will get to go fishing, guys, look at this. My phone is not doing it justice. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Mountains in the background with the snow. Ah, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. There's waterfalls all over the gaff. Look at this. Look. It's, it's ridiculous. Water's clear, crystal clear as well. We've got to keep jogging on. Right guys, we're just getting on this little ferry to go across this big lock. It's beautiful. It is so nice. It's cold, but it's nice. Um, yeah. Just, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Luke's still driving, because he's a legend. I have offered, obviously. Ah, oh, we're going in the middle. I want a window seat. That's a liberty. Oh well, I've got a window seat. <laughs> have you? <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> have a word. Oh, that's shit. That is pretty pants. This is, the, this is the lady. Give me some money. It does drive off a bit funny, doesn't it? It's like, goes off to the side. Right guys, well that, that's the ferry. I won't, I won't keep boring you, but we are, we're an hour away now, so we'll see you when we get there, guys. Right guys, we're here at the mark. Um, that down there is like a line pier. We've just drove up a little bit, try and stay away from the pier if we can, because it's a tackle graveyard. Not that that's going that well here. I've cast out three rods and lost two sets. So it's bloody deep where we are. Luke's here cooking the bacon, doing breakfast. Oh yes, mate. Bread is buttered, bacon is cooking. Luke's has got both his rods out, but he hasn't tried reeling them in yet. But I've got, first cast was crap. So. Rig-wise, what I'm using, or what I started to use. I've got 65 pound braid on my multipliers, and then a 100 pound shock leader, about 40 foot of shock leader, just so if you do get a fish, you've got something good to grab hold of. And my approach was to go with a running ledger rig, like that, a big lead, eight ounce, 250 pound mono, and then a 10 o o shanga silk that I have, got rid of the barb, snapped the barb off. Um, a big tag end so that you can really whip it down to the baits. So I got, I don't know, six, seven foot there of 250 pound leader. So massive, massive baits, obviously for the skate. Um, and then my idea was to clip it on there like that and then cast. Because the thing is, if you use a clip down rig and your bait is heavier than your lead, the clip down rig won't work. It'll just come off in mid cast. Well, the same thing happened to this basically, and it went out about 20 yards. Oh, it's not easy casting a whole mackerel on an 8 ounce lead, but yeah, it still didn't work great. So, Luke's got a different kind of rig. Luke has got an up and over, 100 pound, uh, 100 pound rig body, 250 pound, oh, 150 rig body, 200 pound snood. 200 pound snood. So, he's using an up and over with the same hooks, but he's got a Gemini splashdown that he's using. Um, now, the Tenno obviously doesn't fit inside the Gemini. So what um, his mate Gavin has done at Gav Manshaw Rigs, he has made up just a little metal clip that goes over your hook. We'll show you it later. That clips in and it holds your hook. So your hook clips into that and the clip clips into the Gemini splashdown, which keeps it and it's working. It really is working. So I nicked one of, Gav, uh, one of Luke's rigs that Gavin made for him and stuck it on one of my rods, but that was one of the ones I lost. Um, and I stuck this rod out. Uh, no, this other rod out. So I've had three rods out with uh, just a 525 on it, normal line, small baits, fishing for rays, dogfish. I know it sounds bad, but just to get a few fish on the bank. Um, there's also spur dogs here, which was my main target with that bait, but I didn't get that back either. So I'm going to chill out for a bit and not fish. It's, it's now, it's, it's half past 12 in the afternoon. Like I say, we, we've been up all night. We drove all the way through the night. We still ain't had no kip since yesterday morning. So we're both absolutely hanging. Um, I'm just not going to fish for a bit. We've got plenty of time. I'm going to wait and see what happens with Luke's rods. I'm going to eat my bacon sandwiches um, and see if Luke can manage to get his gear back. Um, if he doesn't, then maybe there'll be a change of plan. Maybe there won't be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, while he's waiting for that, I've got my little law rod in with me. I bought some lures with me as well. The water is crystal clear, and I've got some things like this, and I've got some things like this, and I'm just gonna go down on the rocks in a minute once I have my sandwiches, and have a little flick about with some lures. Just see if there's any pollock or wrasse or anything like that down there that might wanna chase it in, um, just to keep me going for a bit. Um, yeah, it's, this is gonna be a tough trip, testing trip, because it's exhaustion as well. Um, Another thing, we, we, we've got 100 miles left in the tank. We've done two full tanks getting here, pretty much. We've got 100 miles left. Um, but that's 100 miles if you're driving at 30 mile an hour in fifth gear everywhere. And that, that's not quite true, is it? Um, you might drive five miles and it takes 20 off you. So we're really hoping that we might find some diesel too. There is a pump in the town up here that says, was it say community diesel? Community pump. 
Community pump. There's well, uh, only about six people that live in the village in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and I am wondering <laughs> if we might not be part of that community. Um, so I, I don't know if you've got to have a special key, whether you've got to have a password. I don't know. But I might be begging a farmer for a bit of red just so we can get back to a petrol station um, to fill the van up again. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of them things. We we are we are different. No matter what, we are off to a different mark tomorrow to a completely different area of Scotland. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll go from there. Well, there are two or three marks we are undecided on where we're going to go. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. I think we're going to keep checking on weather. Um, we've got a few little tricks up our sleeve that might help determine where we go, but. Yeah, we, we are just going to have to sort of wait for that um, and see how how that works out and, and give it a go from there. But, yeah, at the minute, we're still very much winging it and I am just want my bacon, really. That's pretty much... Look how good this is looking, dude. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, mate. Look. Oh, so here's, here's, uh, here's one of Gav's rigs. Again, the bronze look, which the barb will come off of that as well. Um... We haven't got the little clip on this, but yeah, he's made. Oh, oh yeah, look. So I can't really feel, man. Yeah, Can you do it? Try. You got it. Mind that. Don't don't burn that line. So we are. This is how these little rigs work. Because obviously that Gemini splashdown won't hold a tenno hook because they're not just they're just not made for holding tenno hooks. So we put the little clip in there like that and lock that in. And then with your bait, once it's obviously got bait on it on your hook. Hang on, I zoom out a bit. That will then clip in there. When it hits the drink, it'll dislodge that clip. The clip might fall off. It might stay on the hook, but really, it doesn't matter. With these skate, their mouths are massive, so they don't really, really It's care. hard to hold it all up. It is place, hard to hold it up. The basic gist of it is basically that hook is now... Locked in place via that little clip. It's locked in place. So your, your bait's not going to go nowhere. Yeah. And then obviously... It breaks away. It, it breaks away. Whether the clip stays on the hook or not, it doesn't really. It doesn't really matter because we've got loads of spare clips. Um, so a big shout out to Gav from Gav Manshaw Rigs for that. Um, as most of you know, I normally use Jay's rigs, but I made my own for this, and they didn't work out what I wanted them to. So Gav makes all the Luke's rigs, and I've just nicked a couple of them, and I shall be making some up the same probably tonight. Um, so yeah, that is that at the minute. To be fair, but I'll just quickly show you around. It's I mean, that, so that over there is the Isle, Isle, Isle of Mull, Mull, M-U-L-L. -L. This stretch of water here is the sound of Mull, Mull. 40 yards that way is 50 metres of water. So where you can see that little bit of turbulent water there, that there is about 50 metres deep. And that's basically all we're aiming for, but we are struggling with these big baits to it that far. Well, I am anyway, because like I say, it's just, it's hard. It's really hard. And then there you've got the, probably the most famous skate mark in, I would have said, Scotland, which is Loch Lion Pier, where there's loads and loads of skate court, but it is a tackle graveyard. And the thing is, you could drive for 10 hours and get to Scotland from where I am and realise there's already people there. But we, we didn't want to fish the pier anyway because of the tackle graveyard thing. Although we are thinking that if, it's Sunday, obviously, today, if them gents are here for the weekend and they do one tonight, we're probably going to end up sitting on that pier. So we've got the van. We can have a bit of sleep in the van and still have the rods out. One of us have a bit of kit while one of us are watching the rods and vice versa. Just just comfortable for the first night and then tomorrow we're going to hit it hard. Because tomorrow basically is like the last day. We'll be fishing all day tomorrow, probably into the night, into Tuesday morning. And then we're going to be home Tuesday we're going to be home for Tuesday night, so we don't know if we're going to stay in Scotland all that time, drop down on the way home and fish somewhere to break up the journey. The problem with that is we don't want to break up the journey and have to drive a load of miles out of, out of our way. Um, Luke's rod looks like it's bending a bit. That's right, I was just looking at the left one. Yeah. It just keeps going a little. Oh, it ain't very loud, is it, that? Right, well, we've got to watch that reel, Luke. Something is something is interested in Luke's rod there, hundred percent, because that was that was bent a lot more than what it was when he first cast it out. Right, guys, I will bring his back and let you know if anything happens because it really smells like my bacon's really done, um, and I'm going to keep a good eye on Luke's rod while he's while he's being a chef. Um, 
Yeah. Sorry for the jambling on, but you need to know what's happening. Jambling? Is in that a bit. Even a word? No, it's not. I've just made it up. <laughs> I've just just made it up. In a bit. Right. We wasn't feeling that mark at all. We're now on a pier. Only for the night. We are going to move off in the morning. Oh, there's a porpoise right there. Look. Come on, mate. Come up again. Keep looking, guys. Surely he's coming up. Surely he's going to come up. He's gone now, isn't he? He knows he's got the no, camera no, up. He's been coming up and up and up. up. I reckon he'll come up around that little bit as well. Mate, mate, that's a liar. No, I reckon we might have got it on camera anyway, but just in the background. Um, these fine gentlemen here have, uh, have told us to just jump in here on this end. The tide run is, well, the rods are there. And the lines are coming right down here. Um, but I've seen otters. I've seen porpoises. I don't think I've ever seen an otter in real life. Maybe at the zoo. But I don't think I've actually seen a real, real life wild otter. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be home for the night. 80 metres of water. Just 80 metres of water literally just in front of us. Um, and this is a very, very well known mark for skate. So... It was just one of them marks at first we tried to steer clear of because it was so well known. We wanted to do our own thing, but the way things are, it is what it is. We're here now, and um, we're going to give it our best shot. Where's that bloody porpoise gone? We've got to take it easy for our amazing spot tomorrow. Yes, we've got to take it easy for our amazing spot, yes. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it, the amazing spot. The amazing spot. <laughs> or... Oh, there he goes. Ah, oh, you little shit bag. Come on. Show yourself again. There he was. You just about see him. Hopefully later on I'll, have him, I'll, I'll be feeding him dogfish and stuff. Right, we're going to get a rod set up in a bit. That's all, I've got this bit. First fish in Scotland. Whoop, whoop, look at the size of it. I'm trying a bit of drop shotting down the side of the pier with a bit of a ragworm. But to be fair, dragging the little fish up, it's only a little pout, obviously, but there's loads of them down there. Dragging the little fella up, something hit it. Look at that cut, that is a fresh cut on its back. So guess where this little fella might be going? Straight back down the side of the pier with a bigger hook in it. In a bit, little dude. Right, Luke, what have you got to show us? Oh, well, I didn't actually have a weight on there, so I've got to get a Right, okay. Right, we'll bring it back in a second, guys. Right, so this is the proper rig as it is being assembled. So, we're using bronze ducks because fish care is absolutely paramount. So, they will rust out within a few days if we was to hook a fish and lose it. That is attached to a £250 mono for bite, bite trace, hook length, whatever you want to call it. We've got a bit of Lumi on there. Um, obviously from Sea Glow, um, just because somebody mentioned that they are attracted to the light. Oh, sorry, guys. Just, yeah. Um, they are attracted to the light. So, basically, it's an up and over rig. It goes down it to a like jib. A bit of a boom and it and, kicks yeah, it away. Yeah, and a bit of a boom. It sort of kicks it away. And also, that, by having that up there, if you need to get a T-bar down the end there, you've got nothing getting in your way. Get a T-bar up into it. Exactly that. So then that goes down to a Gemini splashdown with a little homemade clip from uh, from Gavman's uh, rigs onto a rotten bottom clip, 15 pound line, which then clips to your lead like that, which will come undone when it hits the water. And then because the hook is too big to go in the Gemini splashdown and clip down properly, that's why we've got that little Ujimadubri clip, which Luke's going to demonstrate for you now. Lovely. All, all shrink tubed up, nice and neat. And then Luke's going to demonstrate how to cast. No pressure, Luke. <laughs> no pressure, no, Luke. No, no pressure, mate. On his, on his nice new Century T900s and his nice new pen reels. that are the same as mine, but the better model. Um, yeah, do the drag up. Let's watch Luke cast. You guys, see the splash on this. It's ridiculous. What was that? I have movement, Luke. Oh, 
I have slackish line, guys. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, Luke. Let's get a decent angle, mate. Whoosh. The angle of the dangle. The transit looks like it's been raped everything hanging out of it. Uh, yeah, that's all you can do anyway. <laughs> Did you hear that splash? Oh, look at this. This is a live bite. This is a live bite. Go on. Look at that. Go on, go again. Go again. Oh, it's probably. Oh, it's going. There's a fish on there, Luke. This the is still one. going and all, look. Oh, it's not, is it? It's, oh, it's, a bit, it's still going. It's still going. What? I need to reel in a fish. You got another one? I reckon so, yeah. Cuckoo ray. That's what you've got there, mate. Right, well, guys, if I get another one, I shall, um, I'll bring it back in a bit. Right, right, looks like Reese might be into something. It's not big, but... It ain't a skate, that's yeah, for sure. But it might be. It might be the spur dog I've been after. Oh, it's kicking off a bit now. Oh, it is kicking off a bit now. You see the line going down into the water there? It's been a long day, guys. Oh, it is kicking. Oh, look at the face. Is it ain't a dogfish. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if this is a dogfish, I'm throwing my water real in. Oh. It's a long way out, Luke. You laughing? It's what eight, are you grunting it's, for? It's 80 metres. 80 metres deep. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. It, it, you're tired even just bringing the lead back in, to be fair, aren't you? I remember, guys. It's now what, Luke? Six o'clock? It is, well, I think we're probably up to about 32 plus hours of being awake. Dropped it. Right, there's your leader. Dropped it, go on. No, shut up. Oh, no, it's, no, it's still there, there's something there, I can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, spur. Is it? Yeah, spur dog. Oh no. Is it? Is yeah, it's it a little spur? baby spur. Is it a baby spur or is it a black dogfish? No, it's not a black mouth dogfish. Look, it's pink. Yeah, little baby spur. You see it's spike on its tail. Well, that is the first one we guys. That is a first for me. It is a baby. Mate, do you know what? Hold on, that's PB, isn't it? That's a PB, yeah. PB. 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 Never, ever have I caught. God, mate, he's got some ganners. Nicely up there on the top of the. Uh... He's got lipstick on. He has got lipstick on. Sea glow look. Nice one, Mike. Where's right. that spike? Let's have a look at that. We will do, we will do. Is Let's... it a male? Well, I've got some ganners, this thing. Come here, mate. There's its spike, look, look. Where's its, where's yeah. its, oh, there. So there's its, this is a baby, baby one. Let's just move that down so I can have a, oh yeah. That took a little. Nice little spots on there, that's quite cool. That took a little lump of bluey, that did. Oh, come out, mate, please. Yes. Yeah, quite a few rods out here now, look. Yeah, it is like, it's like the edge I actually got a spur in my arm as well, Luke. <laughs> I didn't realise it's got two spurs. Oh, really? It's got one there and all. That one's in my arm. That's a monster, that one, isn't oh, it? Yeah, you don't want that one in your hand. Should we see him go back in the shallow water? Look, it's got, it's got a little baby toe, can not it? Hold him up and have a get, like, so you can get a, um, you can do a, a photo from, from a bit of a video, can't you? <gasps> yeah, hold on. How's me here, look? You look all right. <gasps> you watch what you're doing with that spur. <laughs> to make it look as big as possible. Yeah, arms, that's it. And we'll get, get your head in, in and yeah, anymore. there we go. Happy <laughs> days. <laughs> right, he's dropping back down here. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah, Go mate. on top of that rock. Yeah, mate. Not on the rock, but. Yeah, mate, let's see what happens. There he goes. Yeah, he's going on across the top of the rock, mate. Did he go, he's gone behind it, didn't he? He's sitting, I can still see him. Oh, where he goes, where he goes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, down there. Well, look, like you say, mate. Happy days, well done, mate. PB, can't be bad, can it? Five nil. Well, are we counting little mate, babies? fish is fish. How yeah. many them babies have you had? You can have that back now. <laughs> right, guys, it wasn't the skate I was looking for, but I did want to get a spur dog, so I'm buzzing with that, to be fair. 
I just want a bigger one now. Um, bigger. Yeah, I want to. Oh, mate, I'm not sure about that, Luke. That was, mate. That was hard work coming up in that depth of water. Especially when you haven't slept for thirty odd hours and you've done a ten hour drive. Well, I need to spread now. Yeah. I need a bigger one. Well, that was seventeen pound. Yeah. So we're way yours. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, in a bit. <laughs> right, as Reese would say, brought you back, or bringing you back, because he's hooked into something that seems to be quite nice. Yeah, it's very nice. I don't think it's a skate though, because if it is, it's moving far too easy. So, we don't think it's going to be a big skate, but it is, it is It is something that's got a nice bend in the rod. It could just be a foam back. In, and it took line as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, it's a bend in the rod. Could be a big spur. That's it, using the rod, keeping the rod down low. No, mate, no way. Is he trying to take? Yeah, he's trying to take. I don't know what this is, Luke, but... Really? Yeah. All right, well, let, let him... Just... Keep your, keep your chill with it. Luke. You reckon? I reckon it is, you, mate. You reckon, I right. Reckon it is, right, keep your chill with it. No, I don't know if I've got enough line on my reel, mate. It's going, mate. It's right, going. Let, let him have a little it's bit. It's going. I'm let him, I'm let him have let, everything, Luke. Let, let him, it's look a it, skate. Look. It's a skate. Look, it's look a skate. It, right. I need the head torch, mate. Can you, uh, my top, my top, my right, top. You concentrate. I'll get a fucking head torch. Sorry, swearing. Sorry. Excited. Right. This is not good, mate. Concentrate. This is a, this is a hundred percent escape. Right, concentrate. I can't, mate. I'm going to lose it. You're not. Spoil, you're mate. not. You're not going to lose it. Spoil. You're not going to lose it. It's going to spoil. Me. What you got left? Not a lot. Right. Then slow it down. Put your drag. Put your drag. Fucking right. have it. Drag right on. It's, mate, I can't. It's going to. I've got. I can't. If I put my drag on, Luke, it's going to take you. I stop. Stop. No more. No more. Well, guys, I worked one. Shizen. I worked one, and I'm going to lose it just because you. Hold him, hold him. Right, pull into him, pull him. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Fucking work it. Luke, stop swearing. Sorry, 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 sorry. I can't do anything. Sorry, with it, mate. Can't do anything with it. I do apologise. Sorry for swearing. I guess it's the excitement getting the better of me. Come on, I'm having some back now. That's it, get some back. Give me some back. Give me some back. Give me some back. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Right. Bear in mind. I want that look, I want that post, I want that post. This is every mate. Bear in mind, you've got to pace yourself. We could be here for a long time, mate, so do you want the can I have the head torch? I haven't got the strap. I'll have oh. to. If you're all right, I'll go and get the strap for it. Well, I'll get the one out, my, out top of my box, mate. There's, there's two in there. <clears throat> well, this is what we came for, and I am absolutely buzzing for him. Absolutely buzzing for him. I, I really hope they don't lose it. Right, I'm just going to try and prop you up for a minute while I sort his head torch out. Well, In fact, I'll tell you what... We're, we're bringing you back. We'll yeah, back. exactly, yeah. Do I get to say it? Yeah, go on. We'll bring you back. Yeah. Oh. Ah, right. Quick, Luke, get it over, because I'm losing it. Look at what is down there. <laughs> Look at what Reese has got. Oh, my God. there. <laughs> bring it around, Reese. She's coming, boys. <laughs> She's coming. You have done amazing to get Wait. that in, in that time. I'm a machine, though. That's why. <laughs> right, I'm a machine. Right, keep that tension. Keep Where's that tension and work your way around. Your, foot, your right foot's a foot off the edge of the oh, no. I'm going right. swimming with this bitch if I have to. Right. Sorry for swearing, everyone. Oh. Right, keep it out that way. Keep Can. it coming around. 
I don't know what to do. Just just keep the tension on and try and move it round. Walk don't. it round. Oh, it's like me gonads. But try, I know what I keep saying the same thing, but try and get it round the side of that pier. I don't know what to do. You've got to get it round the side of the pier before it fucks, before it, <laughs> before, what, what? before, 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 before it disappears again. I need. You need to get it round the corner. Try and keep, slide it, keep it swimming, look. Your back's done in. Look at the size of that fish. Look at that. Keep it going, keep it going, look at that. Right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep the tension on, don't. Keep the tension on, keep the tension on. Look right. at that fish. Keep the tension on. Look at that fish. Keep it, keep it up, keep its nose up, keep its nose up. Right, we are bringing you back in a minute. Bring you back. Right, you're back. I've done it. Oh my days. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> You've done it, my friend. You've done it. Oh, mate. I've fallen in. I'm soaking wet. Get these leeches off. Look at these horrible parasites. What an axe. Look at the, look at the girth on her towel. Look. Look at that. Oh, this is a fish of a lifetime. There is no bigger fish that I know of that you can catch on the shore in the UK that could possibly weigh 200 pounds. I'm, I'm, I'm saying easily this is over 100 pounds. Oh, without a doubt, mate. That, we're, we're, we're getting measured up. We're getting measured up off camera because I don't want to keep this fish, fish shaking is paramount, end of. But this is... Oh, I'm actually speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm struggling to find my footing to get a good picture for you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Look at just wow. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> what was it? How long did it take? Forty minutes. Forty minutes. Absolutely right. smashed it. Smashed it. Listen, uh, wait. You can you can get these on the boats up here quite easily um, with the with the right skippers, obviously. But getting one from the shore ain't that easy. Oh. I'm trying to get a two representation of size for you. Switch your head torch off a minute to see if I can. Right. Squat, squat, squat down with her. Oh. Let's see if I can get a couple of pictures. Oh, well, that really ride the old girl. Right. Come on in, give me a happy face. My welly boots are full. <laughs> oh, no, man, I'm so sorry. Arse over tit. <laughs> I had his phone in my pocket, so I had to do a backward roll to save the phone. Oh, mate, I am soaked. Reese, oh, mate, I'm so made up for you. Mate. Honestly, all the planning, everything. First night, probably about 17th cast, but she's there. She is there. Right, we're going to um, get her measured up and get her back. We want to get this fish back. Guys, Luke, Luke is measuring them up quickly. You've got it on film so you can go back and get your measurement later. Can you that? What right, you got? She is 85 inches long, exactly. Nearly as big as my, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 85 long. 85 inches long. Wing to wing's going to be hard, boys. Don't get wet, buddy, don't get wet. You've got to go home yet. Yeah? We're here for, like, days. Wing to wing, you're going to have to... Allow a, a little bit because she's, she's creeping up a little bit. We'll give it another few there. But pull that, pull that back, I reckon, a little bit. I reckon probably about there. Yeah, I reckon about there too. So we've got 65. 65 and 85. 65 right, and guys, 85. we are, we are going to get this fish on up right now and get it back in a, in a bit. Right, so we've been quite quick with this. She's been measured up. Reese has got his waders on. And he's going to attempt to get her back in. I don't know how because he's bloody heavy. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Thank you so much. You absolute stunner. Thank you. Come on, girl. Man, you come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, you come. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Let her take. Let her take her time. Oh, I'm going. To, I'm going. To. Enjoy your moment with her. Thank you, Jim. Look at the size of it, Reese. You bleed it, mate. Yeah, that's what they'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just it's not what they told me, Just mate. The girth. Honestly, guys, like I, I can't get my hand around this wing. Not what they told me. 
Uh, I, hope, I hope the camera's doing it. I mean, there is a spine on the tail, sir. Just look at the girth of that tail. Can you see the thorns? There's thorns up the side of the yeah. tail. Look, she's even showing you, look. Oh, that's a bit rude. That was Stop a bit it. rude. That is a bit rude. That's right, cool give her a little nudge forward. I'm gonna, I think she should go. I think it's time for you to go, little lady. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's like trying to push a transit. Now my foot's in the way. Oh. I've got wet boots for the rest of the trip now. No, you won't. You can have mine. Come on. Come on. She's still trying to anchor up she on you. Up. There she goes. Right, on, keep God. walking forward. The drop off ain't for a bit yet, so you're alright. You gotta get her, get her forward. Come on, God. Come on, I need you in that big water, please. Go! Go! Come on, mate. It's immense, isn't it? She's she hunkers down. It's her wings. She's she's like grips. Go on. Be careful. Especially my phone. Because right, she needs to go that way more. I know, I know, to the right, to the right. You've still got a bit of water before you before there you drown. The there. There, there she goes, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Oh. There she goes. And oh, she's flapping. She's, she's flapping, she's waving. She's off. What a creature. <laughs> that is absolutely magnificent. Look. Oh, she's giving us a show. There she goes. She go. Yeah, she's going to drop right down. Look at that. That is beautiful. I don't know how much you're picking up on this camera, but there she goes. Off into the depths. Gone. And she's gone. Dived under. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Get in! Get, Get in, in, mate! Oh, come here, you sexy man. No, 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 go on, go on. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking yes! Get in! That's it. Right, well, we can go home now. Yeah. Hold on, your rig. I'm going cottage. Your rig. Oh, mate, you owe Gavin a... Um, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, are we still recording? <laughs> yeah. Right, so, <laughs> uh, everybody knows I normally use Jay's rigs, but I didn't have time to get Jay to make me any, and I don't think he makes anything this big. I've got to say, if anybody wants to go skate fishing, even shark fishing, the Lumi tubing works. Gav Manshaw rigs, you are... And the man. just like to say, that hook came out easy peasy because without we doubt, smashed the barb off. you no. have to get rid of them barbs. Yeah, There's no barbs. The barbs. So. And the uh, fish paramount is, fish safety is, is always paramount. Um, right, I've got to sure. try and, we got to try and get back up here now, man. Yeah. Where, where even are we? Everything's just such a blur now. I oh, know. And I am actually soaked. Chuck that over there so I can read. Oh. I am soaked. Guys, we will bring you back. I think, we need, I think we need a moment. And also, there's four other rods out there still. Yes, shit. Go, go, go! <laughs> right, guys, that, uh, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. A big shout out to the three lads that have just left to go home. You, you are going to watch the video, you said you will, and I oh, cannot thank you enough. You had a tape measure that we forgot to bring. You gave us a gaff, but I did not want to put a gaff in that fish. I, 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 apparently, it's a done thing, and a lot of people use a gaff, but there's no way I was putting a massive great hook in the wing of that beautiful girl. There's just no way. Right, the results are in. Luke is currently working out the, the scale, the, the weight scale. So, as you saw in the bit of video, it was 85 inches long. You can zoom in here. And so. 65 inches wide. 85 long, 65 wide. Works at 193 pound, and this is female chart. 193 pounds. 190, yes, 193 pound. <laughs> I actually, I, 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 do you know what? This is going to sound, I could actually cry. Like, I'm, I'm actually welling up. I, I could really do with my wife here, so I could have a big cuddle because I'm missing a lot mad in the kids, and uh, even my mum, because that. It, 20 years I've been fishing, and uh, to get, oh mate, to, to get something like that off of the shore, oh we've travelled a long way, and we've, and we've worked hard for this trip, yes. I've, my, my, oh, I've, I've, I've had to blag my missus for Valentine's Day and everything, and uh, kids are on half term, and that's normally when I get to spend a bit of time with them, obviously when they're not at school, and I'll, I'll, I'll just go work if I want to go work, and if I don't want to go work, I won't go work, but it, oh, 
Wow. And and another thing, people. I, I, to be honest, I, I I've got to say I probably wouldn't be here, and, and Luke knows this. I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't have my YouTube channel. If it weren't for you guys, because it's cost a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money for both of us. Um, and obviously the views and, and things help, help pay for it. So my YouTube channel pays, and as you know, um, and I just don't think I would have been able to do it without maybe getting a little bit back out of it. Um, so uh, uh, it's down to you guys, really. Like, uh, uh, oh, I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm at the Oscars and I'm accepting a Grammy or something. Um, we've had no sleep. We, yeah. It's steaming. I'm going to dedicate that fish to my granddad as he passed away yesterday. Um, and yeah, I'm just, he was looking down on me tonight, definitely. Someone was looking down on me tonight because out of, I've got three, I had three rods out, Luke's got a couple of rods out, them lads had a couple of rods each out, and out of all these rods along this little pier, it chose me. And I, you don't know how grateful I am, guys. Anyway. My foot's wet. It's your turn. <laughs> I just, oh. <laughs> Oh, so done. I'm soaked. Look at me. Mate, I'll give you my clothes. I will literally walk around Starkers. Not that you want to see that, but I will. <sighs> literally, mate, I owe you a kidney. And I'll tell you, I would, I'd give you my left bollock if I could. I'm oh. telling you. Oh. I, I just £193, people. And I, oh, mate. Well, it can't be beat. There's, I'm not beating. I'm not beating I'm that. Beating it. You're beating. Luke's, 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 Luke's getting that magical £200. And do you know what? I hope he does. Oh. I really hope he does, but I hope yeah. his fight's three hours long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you bar, you bar, you bar. You Guys, bar. I've got to go because I don't know where to laugh or cry. Oh. I'll, I'll bring you back in a bit. Morning, morning, everybody. Wow, what a night. So, oh, it's ridiculous. I was still speechless after last night. Um, I'm really sorry for all of my emotions and my sh probably stupid talking and... Um, it's morning now. We've all we're loaded up in the van. We've got a bag of rubbish there. The van's all half nice and clean now. Um, yeah, we're on to the next mark. I want to massively, massively thank everyone, obviously, for watching the video. Um, it's it was epic. Last night I basically sat there. And I don't do going abroad, flying and stuff. Hey, we went for two first. I can't stand my skate bladder. <laughs> Sorry about Luke. <laughs> he ain't had a skate yet. He's having a bad day. Bless him. <laughs> no, he's fine. He was just as buzzing as me last night to catch that fish. Um, and and he, as he said, in a sense, as he fell in and got wet, it was partly his fish too, and, and definitely was it. It was. Um, but yeah, I, like I say. I will probably never catch a bigger fish than that in my life because I ain't one for going abroad. I can't stand flying. I can't stand foreign countries. I can't stand heat. So, there's and there's no bigger fish to catch off the shore in in UK, really. The chances of beating that at 193 pound is, well, ridiculous considering the British record on Google says it's 208 pound off the shore. But obviously this is only going by the charts. So, no one's ever going to know unless you've got a big, a, a crane and a proper made uh, sling so you can't harm, harm the fish and, and all that. Um, so, yeah. Right, so plan is... You had your Snickers, love? Come on, mate. Yeah? yeah. Have you seen that... <laughs> that nut job? That <laughs> um, the plan is now diesel because we, we are... Well, I had, to, I had to do a wee wee in the tank this morning just to get us to the fuel station. Rain's coming, brilliant, that's all we wanted. So we're going to go and get some diesel, probably find a co-op on a bit of civilization. buy Mrs Fish Hunter a Valentine's Day card Starbucks because... Starbucks don't exist that way, do they? I don't know, Starbucks or a Costa Luke needs a coffee. I just need a can of Diet Coke, which I've got. Um, and that is the end of part one, guys. Hopefully you can join us on part two. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, as Guys, as you know, this trip is a massive trip. It's cost an absolute fortune, so that anyone that does want to help out with a trip, donations, whatever, PayPal link is in the description. I know some of you do, some of you don't, some of you like watching. Either way, every little helps. You're all amazing. Um, 
and I can't thank you enough for basically coming on this journey with us. That was that fish was just amazing. I'll leave you with a few, few shots of it to end the video. In a bit. <laughs>